All right, we're working on a 1990 vehicle saver. We got a code PO440. We're going to use my scan to parameters to try to show you how we can find a leak. <coughs> now look at the inches of water, the bottom one, zero inches of water. Look at the top one, fuel tank pressure, 1.4. Both these indicate we have a leak in the system. I should be reading a higher voltage, and my fuel tank pressure should show some vacuum. Look at that inches of water at zero. My fuel tank pressure at 1.4. I just turned on the purge valve and my inches of water and fuel tank pressure didn't move. That indicates a problem. So I close the vent, turn on the purge valve, and yet my my fuel tank pressure and, and fuel tank pressure reading and my fuel tank pressure inches of water reading didn't move at all. That's showing we have a leak somewhere. Now we just fixed the leak. The leak was located near the canister. Now look at it. This is what the leak is fixed. Now I got me now I have some type of reading and in inches of water and my fuel tank pressure went up to one point six. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna increase the duty cycle on the purge valve with the scan tool using bidirectional uh, bidirectional method. I look at it. I'm at 30% duty cycle. Look at the look at the inches of water and my voltage range, indicating I had the ability to pull a vacuum now. When last time I couldn't do it. Fuel tank pressure voltage 2.2. Fuel tank pressure inches of water is a negative four. Thirty percent duty gets a thirty with a thirty percent duty cycle. Now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cause a vacuum. Sorry, we're gonna we're gonna cause that evap leak and watch it go right back down to the where it was at before, indicating we have pressure in the system. Look at the inches of water go right back to zero. Look at my voltage on top, 1.4 again, just like when it came in. This indicates there's a leak in the system, but this time we made a leak by cracking the gas cap. And I just did this to show you how what the parameters will look like on a GM when you have a leak. Now he's going to click the gas cap three times, retighten it, and watch the reading change again. See, a slight amount of vacuum in the tank. Watch the bottom reading. That's the most common one. That's why I keep pointing that one out. They got a slight amount of vacuum in the tank, indicating we fixed the leak. Now we're going to take the purge valve. I'm sorry, no, we're not. We're going to use a smoke machine and introduce smoke into the system. Then watch the same reads and watch the changes. Right here, I told him to make sure the smoke machine is putting out some smoke, emitting smoke before we hook it up. So that's what he's checking for. Now, since that's working, we're going to take the straight of out and connect it to the green port. This one's located near the canister. Then once we find get that connected, we're gonna connect the smoke we're gonna connect the smoke machine and watch the pressure changes on the same two reading, same two parameters on the scan tool.
Now once you have it hooked up, we're going to admit the smoke into the system and watch that inches of water or fuel tank voltage reading go change. Now look at the fuel tank pressure on the bottom, inches of water. And look at the fuel tank pressure voltage on top. We're going to emit the smoke and watch it change. When that bar flows up to the top, in the case of large leak. When the bar's at the bottom, in the case no leak. Use of a smoke machine, you want to set the indicator to either 20 or 40 thousandths of an inch, depending on the system. If that ball approaches that indicator, it tells you the system has a leak. So right now, we're going to close the vent, and we're going to use a scan to to close the vent. Then we're going to emit the smoke into the system. The reason we're closing the vent, we don't want the smoke to leave the system. So we're going to seal it off. That ball bubbling up top like that means the smoke is flowing, but it should eventually go down. If there's no leak, the ball should go towards the bottom. If there is a leak, the ball stay on top. So since we fixed this vehicle, I'm assuming it should go down. Well, I know it will go down because the leak was fixed already. So I was going to the bottom, and it came no leaks. And on our parameters, look at the bottom one. The positive pressure and inches of water, and on the top, look at the voltage. It dropped down all the way down to one point. Two, uh, sorry, point two. Any kind of pressure in the system because of the smoke we just introduced. Look at the ball. It's at the bottom now. Any kind no leak. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna crack the gas cap and make a leak and watch the changes. Now he's gonna Now I'm telling the I'm telling Dennis here to crack the gas cap. So he's gonna make a leak in the EVAS system and gonna watch the readings. The pressure's gonna change and drop right back down to zero. And watch happens when we crack that gas cap. Go ahead, crack it. Now you just open it. Now watch this change. Look at the look at the top one. 1.4 volts already. Look at the bottom one, inches of water, right back down to zero. And watch the smoke machine. The ball's all gonna start going to the top. Look at the ball indicator. It's starting to flow to the top, indicating we have a leak. Thank you for your time. I hope this helps. I hope you learned something out of it. Thanks. Peace.